Hello everybody and welcome to this Flutter video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn about the grid view, grid view .builder, and also about the grid view .count. So if you are new in this channel, please subscribe our channel for not losing other videos. So let's jump to the code and see how we can implement the grid view. So as you can see, I created a fresh project which has a main function, a stateless widget which return a material app and it has scaffold, app bar and also a text view which says grid view tutorial. In the body we have an empty container. So instead of empty container, so now we are going to use the grid view. So before anything else, what is really a grid view? A grid view is also a widget that shows the items inside with multiples, row and columns. So if you want to use grid view, so let's see how we can create it. Instead of this container, I'm going to type grid view. What a grid view takes, there is a required parameter which a grid view requires is a delegate. A delegate is a named parameter which is required to creating a grid view. Let's give the required parameters. Delegate and here we can use sliver grid delegate. So we have two types of sliver grid delegate. One is grid sliver grid delegate with max cross axis extend and the other is the sliver grid delegate with fixed cross axis count. So let's use first this one, the cross axis count. So what property we can use inside this grid? So the important one is the cross count. The cross count actually shows how many columns you want to use in your grid. So now I'm going to use cross axis count is equal to three. It means I have three columns inside our grid. So before using the other property of this, let's create the children for the grid view. So inside the children, we can use other widgets. I create a container and give it a color of light blue. In its child, I give a text view which says hello. And we can put our text view inside a center widget to center the text view inside our container. So let's run it. Now we can see our text view inside the container which you can see. So now what we can do, we can copy our container widget multiple times to see our grid. So in Android Studio on Mac we can use the control D to copy this. I passed it a few times and now control S it. Now we can see that we have multiple child inside our grid. So now let's add other properties to our grid view. We have another property called cross axis spacing. Cross axis spacing gives a space between every grid tiles. Another property also we can add main axis spacing gives space between our grid tiles. So now we can save it. Now you can see that we have space between the grid tile so we can increase this by three that we can see it better so now let's give a padding around the grid view so let's wrap our grid view with a padding widget so we give it a 10 pixel padding and let's save it now you can see that we have 10 pixel padding around our grid so also you can bring changes to cross axis for example, if you want two column, you can uh, give it two and seven. Now we can see that we have two columns in our grid. So also we have other property called aspect ratio. Aspect ratio bring changes to the width. By default, our aspect ratio value is one. So if I increase it to two and seven, and now we can see the width is twice to the 
height of every tile. Another property also we have that that called main axis extent. It means that we can extend the size of our grid tile. For example, if I give 200 and save it, now we can see that the height of our grid increase. If I give it to 400, as you can see now, the height of our grid tile is twice than the width of the tile. So I hope you understand the grid view and delegate count. So let's comment this line and let's go and implement the grid delegate sliver grid delegate extent this time. What it need? It need a max cross axis extent. I put 207. Now we can see we have our grid with the max cross axis extent and also uh, the properties which we used on cross axis count we can use it also here so now we have the spacing or the main axis spacing is equal to 2 and also let's save it and now we can see that we have the main axis and also we have the cross axis spacing by 2 or 3 let's save it and now you can see that our grid tile are separated. Also we can use the aspect ratio and also we can use the main axis extent. So guys uh, it was about the grid view and let's go to grid view dot builder. Let's comment this line and also I'm gonna comment this child. Also we don't need this one. In here now I'm gonna put grid view dot builder. In the grid view dot builder also we have two required parameters it takes grid delegate so in here the sliver grid extend or count for now we are using the cross axis count and we should give it a cross axis count and it will be three and let's enter it to see the other properties also now what a builder takes builder item we can give it a context index what it return it should return for now a container we can give a color to our container colors dot light blue and also we can give it a child text of hey and let's save it now we can see our builder grid so let's use some other properties like uh, I can give it main axis spacing and also the cross axis spacing to see our grid tiles. So now we give the spacing between the tiles. Now how we can center our text? As we know we can center our text by wrapping to the center widget and let's save it. Now you can see that we have our grid view dot builder with the items inside uh, or uh, the tiles inside we can scroll it by default it has unlimited item inside in grid view builder another property which it has is item count property item count specify the items inside our grids how many items we want inside our grids for example I'm gonna give it 20 items let us save it now we can see that we have 20 tiles here let's change the text from uh, text to our index which we defined here now we can give a comma here and dollar sign index and let's save it again and let's remove this text for now let's save it now you can see that from number 0 add to number 19 because we give the item count 20 it has 20 items inside the grid and other property which grid view dot builder has is scroll direction scroll direction change the scrolling from a vertical you can choose the axis direction to horizontal axis dot horizontal now let's save it 
now we can see that we have our grid view that scrolling horizontally so let's comment this another property which the grid view builder has is reverse reverse by default has the boolean value false but when we give it the true value it reverse all the grid tiles now we can see that the number start from the 19 till the 0 so guys this is it about the grid view dot builder I hope you learned the grid view dot builder and also the simple grid view and now let's go to use the uh, grid view dot count so how we can use it let's comment the other parts of grid view dot builder so guys let's implement grid view dot count by typing grid view dot count what it takes it takes a cross axis count which I'm gonna give it three and also it has children inside its children we can give it any widget we want to show in our grid view so i'm gonna use the same container which we used previously sorry container it has a color colors dot umber and it has a child text widget which says hey let's wrap our text widget to the center by the center widget and let's save it we have error here there is an extra bracket let's remove it and let's save it again now we can see there is one tile and we can copy it by control D and paste it again and let's save it and now we can see that we have seven tile on our grid how we can give it a spacing between them as you know from the previous one we can give it a main, main axis spacing by 3 or whatever you want. The cross axis spacing also to 3 and let's save it. And now we can see that we have our grid tiles. So guys, this is about the grid view and the grid view dot builder. Also the grid view dot count. And I hope you learned something from this video. If you like the video, please thumbs up and see you guys on the next video.